Also, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh I would also like to give a double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do rule well. I would also like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth and to the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine unto you. I say shalom. A chicken shortage is coming soon, and it's pretty much a manufactured famine that's taking place, all right? And eventually, at, even right now, we don't even know what the hell we eat. When we go, you know, if you get some fast food, you know, we shouldn't even be eating fast food, but hey, sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But, you know, Esau is orchestrating this whole thing to push you towards... um these lab-grown meats, all right? And recently, last week, or May 30th, you had, in the, in the same week, you had massive, uh, um, on one, you had, on this one, you had a fire breakout at an Illinois farming house which killed over a million chickens. And then, within, I think, a few days before, a day or before, more than four million chickens have been killed in Iowa after officials detect bird flu on farm, all right? And they're saying this bird flu um, I think it's the bird flu, what was contaminating cows, all right? So, therefore, you're going to have a um, a shortage in chicken, a shortage in beef, and therefore, Esau is going to come with their solution, all right, which is this right here. USDA approves sale of lab-grown meat from two companies, both backed by Bill Gates, all right? The devil, is always, the devil has their hands in all of this shit, all right? All of this. All right, they give you the, they, the you know, the problem is uh, um, reaction, problem, uh, problem, reaction, solution. All right, so the, the the problem is, oh, we don't have any more chickens. The chickens are died off uh, or had to be killed off because of the bird flu. Uh, um, this, you know, this uh, factory, or um, you know, apparently caught on fire mysteriously and they couldn't put it out before it killed a, a million chickens. That's a lot of chickens. You think about it, a million chickens? All right. Um, now they're gonna say four million were killed right here. So that the problem is we don't have any more chicken. But Esau comes with a solution. So they could do this appears to be beef. All right, which is you know some bullshit. All right, don't think that they can't do grab lab grown chicken. All right. So yeah, we need salvation. All right, because we don't at the end of the day we don't know what we eat. All right, you this this looks like beef. All right, and they can put it on the shelf in your local supermarket, and you grab a piece of uh, you know grab uh, 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 what you appear to be you know it could be in Costco, all right, or Sam's Club, what appears to be ground beef or ground turkey or whatever. And that shit could be grab grown, and you don't know the dis difference once you start to put some um, seasoning on it. Okay, but the, the you know and you see how our people act over chicken. As they pop eyes run out of chicken when they ran out of chicken sandwiches. Niggas was niggas was fighting each other. Niggas was getting killed. Okay? So Esau is setting all this up, man. We you know, and you have to be you have to um you have to see things with a spiritual eye. Like, well damn, oh, there ain't no more chicken. Well maybe I don't need to eat no damn chicken. Because whatever they, whatever they come with next, all right, it may not really be chicken. All right? But hey, Esau is orchestrating this whole family, but really it's the most high because this is nothing, there's nothing new under the sun. There's always been famines, all right? But this is going to be the famine of famines, all right? Once, you know, the Lord uh, begins to really send these plagues upon Babylon. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices, all right? We know this is a device that Satan is going to use to kill off chicken farms and, um, and uh, uh, euthanize uh, chickens and cattle because of the bird flu. Therefore, you know, letting the people suffer a little bit, you know, or, or and of course, you're going to have inflation. But the chicken that, that is available, all right, it's going to be skyrocketing, okay, the, the price, all right? So Esau is going to come with that solution, all right, which is this uh, 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 lab-grown meat, all right? But a famine has always been a part of, uh, uh, um, you know, um, uh, a kingdom falling, all right? It, it, and, and it's really going to hit our people the hardest because we're the lowest, all right? We're, we're the, at the bottom. Matthew 24 and um, 6. 
7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Famine. All right. And that's just one. Famine is just one layer. Excuse me. Of, of prophecy. All right. But it's going to have, take place. And it's something that, you know, we all need. We all need food to live. We all need water. All right. But it's, and it's going to come a time when it's going to be scarce. All right. It's going to come a time when it's not going to be available. It's not going to be in your supermarkets before you can just go in there and, and grab whatever you need. And if it is there, it's going to the, the price is going to be so astronomical. You know, you, you're not going to be able to afford it. You may have to take a, a, a loan out. OK, to, to get, uh, 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 you know, to feed your family for that week. All right. Um, Revelation six and six. Oh, I sorry, five. The third seal famine. All right, this is speaking of the end. All right, the 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 the, the end of Babylon. Okay, the destruction. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard a the third beast say, "Come and see and be held." And lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the fourth beast say, "A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley." For a penny, and see thou not hurt the oil and the wine. All right, so a measure of wheat for a penny. A penny is a uh, is equivalent to a day's work in the ancient world. All right, so a measure of wheat and three measures of barley for a penny. All right, that ain't enough. That ain't enough to feed not even yourself, let alone if you have family. Let me see what this says in the um, in the GMT. Um, here it is. I'll read in the GNT. I heard what this is, uh, Revelation 6 and 6 in the GNT. I heard what sounded like a voice coming from among the four living creatures, which said, A quart of wheat for a day's wage, and three quarts of barley for a day's wage. A day's wage, all right? So, say whatever you work, say, say you make $20 of your job on an eight hour shift, okay? Which is what two hundred dollars, right? That two hundred dollars, even after taxes, all right, maybe one hundred and seventy-five or something, one hundred and sixty, all right. That one hundred and sixty, one hundred seventy-five dollars is only going to get you a, a meal, okay? That's all you're going to get with that, all right. And in in a, in a lot of instances, it's not just you. You have a wife. You have kids, all right. So this famine, that's 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 we're on the brink of is, is serious okay that's why you better get right with the lord you better get right with the heavenly father so that you're covered in those times it's scripture says my servant shall eat my servant shall drink let me grab let me go to ezekiel 4 uh 4 and um let me see something. Uh, i'll just read it from my phone Ezekiel 4, and um, I'm going to start at 9. Take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millets and finches and put them in one vessel and, and make thee bread thereof according to the number of days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. 390 days shalt thou eat thereof and thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be a weight 20 shekels a day from time to time thou shalt eat it thou shalt drink also water by measure the six parts of hen from thy from time to time thou shalt drink and thou shalt eat it eat it as barley cakes and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight so the lord is explaining to ezekiel there's going to be a famine all right and, and, and you know and collect these grains Okay, and um, you know, and, and telling him to drink and measure, all right. And he gave him uh, 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 to make barley cakes out of man's dung, okay. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I drive, whether I will drive them, all right. And, and that's what we're doing to this day because you know, we know not to eat shellfish, and now we know not to eat shellfish, pork. 
uh, 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 you know, catfish, these are vulnerable foods, but Esau puts this shit in our food, all right? The things that we, that say organic, the things that say non-GMO and all that shit, Esau still throws bullshit in there to, to, to you know, to, to make us go off, okay, when we're trying to be righteous, but the scripture says that we shall eat our, um, eat our bread defiled among the Gentiles. Let me grab the same verse. And I'm gonna go over to the fifth, the fifth chapter in the um, in Ezekiel. Uh, this is Ezekiel four, and um, let's see. Yeah, I'll re I'm gonna start at ten. It says you will we, you will be allowed eight ounces of bread a day, and it will have to last until the next day. You will also have a limited amount of water to drink, two cups a day. All right, so I, I like reading it in the NLT and GNT because it gives you, uh, um, it gives you a a, a a a a a vivid, a more vivid picture um, of the scripture. Sometimes, okay, it said two cups of water a day. Ain't man, try to survive off two cups of water a day. It's gonna be hard. Okay, it says, um, or or a one ounce of bread that it has to last until the next day. All right, I, I only I don't even know how much an ounce of bread is, but you know, and that's not just for you; that's for your whole family. Okay, so it's it, you know, in the ancient world, it's always there are always famines. All right, Jake was always dealing with some form of famine. Let me go over to um, what did I do? Let me go over to um, Ezekiel uh, five and um, I'm sorry, six. Um, I'll start at five. And thus saith the Lord power. This this is Jerusalem. I have set in the midst of the nations and countries that are around round about her. And she have changed my judgment into wickedness more than the nations, and my statutes more than the countries that are around about her, for they have refused my judgments and my statutes, they have not walked in them. So the Lord has given you reason why the Lord is about to jack Israel up or jacking Israel up. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, because ye multiplied more than the nations that are around about you and have not walked in my statutes, neither kept my judgments, neither have done according to my judgments of the nations that are around about you. Therefore, thus saith, thus saith the Lord power, behold, I, even I, am against thee and will execute judgments in the midst of thee in the sight of the nations. And I will do in thee that which I have not done and whereunto I will not do any more the like because of thine abominations. Therefore the father shall eat the sons in the midst of thee, and the sons shall eat their fathers, and I will execute judgment in thee, and the whole remnant of thee will I scatter in all the winds. It's gonna be a it's gonna be um it's gonna be a, a cannibalism. Wherefore as I live, say the Lord, surely because thou hast defied my sanctuary and with all thy detestable things, and with all thy abominations, therefore I will also diminish thee, neither shall my eyes spare, neither shall I have any pity. A third part of thee shall die with pestilence and with famine, and they shall consume in the midst of thee, and a third part shall fall by the sword about thee, and I will scatter a third part into all the wind, and will draw out the sword after them. All right, the pestilence, the famine, the sword. Those are all judgments that's come from the Heavenly Father. In this, in this case, I'm speaking of the famine. All right, the famine is going to come. All right, because of, of, of Israel's disobedience unto Yahweh Now, I would say Israel's continued disobedience. All right, because the time of repentance is now. The time for you to repent and turn to the Heavenly Father is now. All right, but will you Israelites do it? All right, when 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 these when these plagues are be, be begun to be sent. Okay, when you see. You know, more factories going up in smoke, more, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, chickens, uh, uh, cows, all lot, this livestock just being being put to death. All right, will you, will, you will you, you know, figure out that, hey, you know, something's going down and I better get right with the Heavenly Father before I be a part of it? Okay, but the Lord said, I, got, I quoted, his servants are going to eat. The scripture says in Job, um, what is it, Job 5? To laugh at famine. Let's see. Um, go 
so far. Yeah. It's redeemed for family. Uh, Joe 5 and uh, 15. 16. Joe 5 and 19. It's like you. He shall drive thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Yeah, it does say thou shalt laugh. Okay? Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. All right? So the elect are going to, you know, all these calamities are going on around the, the members of the elect, but they're going to laugh at destruction and famine. Okay? They're, they're not going to be afraid of the beasts of the earth while the world is going to be bugging out. You're going to know in that day who the Lord is dealing with. Okay? And this 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 uh, chicken shortage is uh, uh, you know just the beginning, okay? And, and you're eventually going to start to see the effects when Popeyes, churches, KFC, whatever you eat that you know that supplies chicken, Chick Fil A, or right, all these different places, they gonna, they're not going to have no chicken, or they're going to have a very small portion, all right? Where you know by the time you get off work, you think you're going to go to Popeyes and get you a, a eight piece or something, they they out of chicken, they out of chicken by 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 uh, by one o'clock. They out, okay? And then, you know, hey, <laughs> you know, niggas is, gonna, niggas is really going to bug out because you know niggas love chicken, okay? Not just not just Judah, all, all, the, all the tribes, all right? So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Harakakodash, Shalom.